There's just very little shot that I, I missed that then. And that should be within... Uh... Nice. Okay, we got the Toxic Neoticuno. That's going to be huge. What's up, everybody? The DLC is out. Here we are. We're going to be doing some moveset guides this week, next week, and probably the week after. Um, I'm going to try to release them in a way where I have time to learn how the Pokemon work and like make sure that they're functional and make sure that I'm actually giving you some good advice. But yeah, uh, we're going to check out Pheasantipity today, the first of the loyal trio. Tomorrow, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we'll be doing one of my uh, nice edited videos where I try out a Pokemon on the ladder and it's going to be Pheasantipity, so it's going to be a really hype video. Uh, but yeah, so subscribe for that. But um, we're going to be talking about this Pokemon. Now, Pheasantipity, uh, just getting right into it, is arguably the worst of the loyal three. The loyal three, including Okidogi, Monkey Dory, and Pheasantipity. I love their names, by the way, a, a phenomenal naming scheme. Uh, but yeah, Pheasantipity uh, was looking to be, at least, you know, typing wise, the strongest of the three, being a Poison and Fairy as compared to a um, Poison Psychic and Poison Fighting. Uh, but it ended up being the weakest because they, they really fumbled it on these stats. 88 HP, 91 attack, 82 defense, 70 special attack, 125 special defense, and 99 speed. Had it hit 100 to be a little bit more salvageable, but 99, it almost seems like they made that specifically for outspeeding Pokemon like Landorus T and even more specifically Urshifu. But yeah, we can still make this Pokemon work. After testing it uh, basically all night, I did not sleep. I found out that this Pokemon has some sauce and it's actually kind of crazy. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just get right into the first moveset. So like I said, Fezzibity stats are pretty underwhelming. The 88 HP with 125 special defense does make it pretty uh, specially bulky, allowing it to eat hits from like Specs Fluttermane uh, and even like some Life Orb Chi Yu calcs. Uh, but for the most part, that physical defense isn't where it needs to be. 88 HP, 82 uh, defense is not going to allow you to eat a lot of hits. So yeah, it's, it's a little bit underwhelming on that front. The attack stats are where this thing really got screwed over, I think. The 91 attack is pretty low, and it doesn't allow it to pick up a lot of KOs with uh, Play Rough like you would usually be able to with other Play Rough users like Azumarill, um, or I don't know. It, the damage output on this thing is comparable to Tinkaton, even though it's got more points than it. Like That's where I would put it. So yeah, uh, and the speed, like I said, it's almost just specifically for that Urshifu. The special attack is kind of underwhelming. 70 means that this thing is doing almost no damage with its special attacks. So if you want to build an offensive one, you're better off going with that uh, attack stat. That being said, I genuinely believe that a special attacking set is the route you want to go. And that might sound a little bit crazy, but hear me out. So its ability is Toxic Chain and its hidden ability is Technician. We'll get into a set with that after this. But Toxic Chain is a new ability that is basically Poison Touch version 2.0. Poison Touch is an ability that gives you a 30% chance to poison a Pokemon if you use a contact move on it. Toxic Chain is an ability that gives you a 30% chance to toxic, aka badly poison a Pokemon, if you use any move on it. So special attack, physical attack, contact or not, these moves can poison. And because of that, you're going to take advantage of Pheasantipity's one niche that it has over the other two, and that's the fact that it has a couple of really great spread moves being Dazzling Gleam and Icy Wind. So, if Pheasantipity had Snarl, it would be a top tier, but this moveset, we're going to be using Dazzling Gleam, Icy Wind, Tailwind, and Venishock. The uh, HP uh, is basically just dumped, and the defenses are also just dumped. All that we're calcing here for is one offensive calc, and one speed calc. We're outspeeding every Urshifu known to man, except for the uh, Choice Scarf sets, obviously, uh, with that 244 speed and the Timid Nature. Uh, we're hitting 116 special attack because all that lets you do is guarantee a two hit KO with Dazzling Gleam in a doubles battle versus Urshifu Rapid Strike if it's just running that four HP set, the non bulky ones, and it's a one shot uh, versus Urshifu Single Strike if it's the four HP set. So that's, I think that's actually a pretty important calc. If you really wanted to, you could make the set much bulkier by decreasing that special attack stat to like four, saying, I don't care if I do damage, I'm just in it for the uh, the poison and the tailwind, icy wind stuff. Uh, and you can just put the rest in your defenses. So I, I recommend you do that if you're not interested in getting those uh, one shots or two shots. But I think that it is worth it for this Pokemon uh, just to make sure it doesn't have to eat a hit from those guys. But yeah, uh, the moveset is pretty important. The Dazzling Gleam and the Icy Wind, if you do the math, 
there is a, and this is, if you're not into math, you know, tune out right now, but okay, so there's a 30% chance that you poison the Pokemon, meaning that there is a 70% chance that you don't poison the Pokemon. The way that we calculate to see what the chances are that we poison either one of the Pokemon hit by Dazzling Gleam is it's 0.7, which is the chance that you don't poison it, times 0.7, the, you know, other chance you don't poison it. Um, and we end up with 0.49. Subtracting that from one, that means that we have a 0.51 or a 51% chance to poison either one of the Pokemon hit by Dazzling Gleam or Icy Wind. And I think that is actually a pretty useful thing considering Icy Wind is one of the best support moves in the game. You're gonna drop everything speed step by one, allowing partner Pokemon and Pheasantipity itself to outspeed Pokemon. And then you're gonna be able to hit Pokemon with Dazzling Gleam, possibly getting that poison. If you end up facing off against like an Urshifu, uh, single strike that is running the focus sash set that will allow you to hit it with dazzling gleam and there's a 50 percent chance it just drops at the end of the turn instead of living another turn with that focus sash so that is pheasantipity's true niche within the game and it's very difficult to explain that to a newer player um to a more experienced player they're gonna say yeah that's kind of interesting but it's probably not the best and i agree but i still find this pokemon to be just kind of cool so yeah the way i would describe it is it's almost like glamora but glamora uh is an offensive pokemon that has a guaranteed poison move that doesn't do a lot of damage where pheasantipity has a chance to do poison but it's a support pokemon and its moves that have a chance to poison are also some of the best moves in the game being like icy wind and dazzling gleam uh the final move i have on here is venishock but you could honestly drop the poison coverage for a uh taunt or anything else to prevent other support pokemon from functioning i think that venishock is a decent move on this set though because i do have that uh special attack investment i might as well make good use of it uh, the Venishock is uh, a move that is going to allow you to deal double damage on uh, Pokemon that have been poisoned, which is going to be 50% of every Pokemon you hit with an attack. Venishock itself now has a chance to poison. Pretty interesting, right? But yeah, uh, this Pheasantipity is going to pair really well with the likes of uh, Heatran, Landorus, uh, Rillaboom. Really, Rillaboom is like a great partner for it because you're going to be able to go for like a fake out. Uh, set up a tailwind and then just start hitting things with like, I don't know, you could U-turn into something, uh, Icy Wind, get in like a Landorus T. That Landorus T will now be able to intimidate the Pokemon. It's faster than everything because it has Tailwind and Icy Wind uh, helping it out. You can spam Rock Slide and then there's a good chance that something got poisoned uh, that first turn. Uh, but one of the biggest things that I would pair this with is actually a Fluttermane. Fluttermane, despite being another fairy type, they don't really step on each other's toes that much since there aren't like a lot of spread uh, steel moves other than Golden Goes Make It Rain, which can be dealt with with the uh, partner Landris, like I explained, or even a partner Heatran. Uh, because of that, Fluttermane can actually follow up with Hex on anything that has been poisoned in like an endgame uh, situation, which uh, I actually did do that in the uh, showcase we're going to see at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, uh, this set, pretty interesting. I think it's the best set and it's what I'm going to recommend to you guys right now. If you want to run a Technician offensive set that hits on the physical side, that's probably the second best set. So we'll just go ahead and explain that right now. Jolly, Technician, Focus Sash, Pheasantipity. Uh, you could also run Toxic Chain on this thing. That makes it so Dual Wing Beat does have a 51% uh, chance to poison something. You know, that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, that attack set is higher than the special attack set. So this one's going to be more focused on damage. Uh, the Focus Sash will allow you to more reliably get a Sword Stance off. And that Terra Flying will allow the dual wing beat to actually hit uh, opposing Flutter Mains hard enough that you're going to uh, one shot them with the move. Granted, they're not like super bulky because that technician does uh, increase the power of each dual wing beat base 40 up to base 60, meaning that combined they're about as strong as a Brave Bird. So, you know, granting Fesnivity Brave Bird, pretty cool. That being said, it's a tax that isn't that big, so that's not the best. Poison Jab, that's a 30% chance to poison. I don't remember how to calc to know like what the chance is that uh, poison jab, poison something. I think it might also be 51%, who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty decent. And player off is just like a good attacking move. Honestly, guys, if you're going to run Pheasantipity, don't do what my opponent did in the video right here. I really don't think that the dual wing beat set is the best one, but if you want to run an offensive one, this is probably your better option just because it's, it's special attacks despite being stronger. Like Moonblast is like a really strong move. Uh, you know, Sludge Bomb is like a really strong move despite all that it's just you want to go physical because it's such a big jump in power in the attack stat and even then it doesn't do that much i really think pheasantipity's role is as a support pokemon so i recommend you just go with the first set or some variation of it or maybe your own set that uh does something similar to what that first set does because this pokemon has very few options in this metagame uh but it does do what it does it, it does what it does pretty good you know uh but yeah uh, let's go ahead and go over to the showcase where I show you guys how I use the Pheasantipity in a battle. 
And yeah, let's just go ahead and head over there. All right, let's see what I can do with this team, uh, just like in a regular game. I'm on the unranked ladder uh, because technically they're not legal yet, but I just saw on Twitter that for some reason they are legal. Someone's probably going to get fired over that. Uh, probably not, but uh, yeah. So we're just going to see what we can do with this really quick. Uh, we'll, uh, actually, tomorrow I'm going to be uploading like a, an edited video of me using Pheasantipity like usual. Uh, but for these moveset guides, I'll make sure I get at least one game in, or probably just one game in, where I showcase how the Pokemon functions. Just to make it a little bit more easy for people to understand. Okay, so I actually really like um, this position for Pheasantipity. My game plan going into this match was actually to try to lock down uh, a Pokemon with Magma Storm after having it be toxic. Uh, but what I'm actually going to do real quick here is... Um, I think I just want to scout for a possible Earth Power on the Obama Snow. Um, and I can go for Ice when there's a small chance that I miss. Uh, because of the Snow Cloak on the Articuno plus the decreased uh, accuracy. But uh, I think that possibly getting that speed drop along with the Poison is very useful. Uh, but yeah, so obviously we have that 30% every time we use this move, uh, in that like or any move with Pheasantipity, so it's just like a, a really scary Pokemon to have to deal with. Alright, they send out their Heatran, which makes me think that they're probably just going to want to go for uh, Terra Grass next turn. But the speed drop will be really nice. Alright, obviously we can't Poison this turn. Um, let me think. Since we're not on ranked ladder, I have no idea what level of skill this player has. Um, I'm just going to play it... I'm, I'm going to play it safe. And I'm going to go for the Flash Cannon and Terra Grass, uh, as well as an Icy Wind, uh, onto the Obama Snow, because that should do a decent amount of damage to the Obama Snow. Uh, I don't want to have to land a Magma Storm here, but I'm pretty certain that they're just going to want to Terra Grass their Heatran, uh, which will allow it to take some increased damage from the Icy Wind and possibly get poisoned. Uh, but I don't want to Earth Power into it, despite me being faster right now, because there is the shot that I just, you know, <laughs> completely uh, get outplayed. They Terra Grass and I get uh, Earth Powered. Alright, hopefully, uh, I I'm actually really hoping they Terra Grass here. Because getting a Poison on both of these is going to be huge. Yep, there it is. So there's the Terra Grass. They're going to take some increased damage from this Icy Wind because now it's super effective. Uh, like I said in the uh, team or in the the move set guide, though, uh, Pheasantipity isn't going to be known for its damage. It's just going to be a support mod for the most part, so it isn't going to do that much. But as long as we land one of these. None this turn. And I, I ran the, the calculation. I think it's a 55% chance you uh, get at least one of them to be poisoned. Okay, good to know that that's uh, Life Orb. I should be able to eat an Earth Power, unless it gets like Helping Handed or something. But we also did see that Ferrigraph drops to another one of these, so we'll focus that down and go for another Icy Wind. Or actually, there's probably no point in Icy Winding here. We can just Dazzling Gleam for a little bit more damage on the uh, Ferrigraph. And to avoid a, a miss chance. Yeah, but Pheasantipity, it's got base 125 special defense, so it should be able to eat that just, just fine. There's the Toxic Chain on the Ferrigarath. Can I get it on the... Uh... Nope, not quite. That's fine, though. Uh, we got to show off the ability activating. Not that it mattered here. However, that Earth Power, should be able to eat that up like Rhesus Puffs? Yep. And really, um, all I'm concerned about here is landing a Toxic on the Articuno, because that's like our win con. Well, it's not necessarily our win con, but uh, it is like just a very important thing to have. You know, like I, if I land that, it's just like even better for the end game. Uh, I don't have to worry about like hitting it consistently since Articuno is using a Snow Cloak set with like Bright Powder. All right, there's the Articuno. So I'm just going to click, uh, we know that our Heatran's faster because we got that, um, because we got the uh, Icy Wind off earlier. And yeah, I'm just going to go for Dazzling Gleam here. There's just very little shot that I, I missed that then. And that should be within, uh, nice. Okay, we got the Toxic Neoticuno. That's going to be huge. 
you go for the blizzard because the dipity drops but as long as i also yeah i was gonna say i think that crit kind of mattered because uh articuno's blizzards aren't that strong and as long as i don't get uh frozen which i didn't this will ko and we have a uh hex flutter main with articuno's name on it All right. Let's go ahead and send that bad boy in. All right, let's see what we can do here. So, I mean, uh, they already they already used up their Terra, so there's no point in going for the Magma Storm, in my opinion. Uh, I'm going to be slower than the Obama Snow, most likely anyway, since a lot of them run Sash max speed. But uh, now we can click Hex into this Articuno, and as long as we don't miss, which we don't, that should be a one-shot because of the choice specs. They're not quite. Articuno's a pretty bulky guy, but it will drop at the end of the turn. And we do have a close combat Urshifu in the back, so we still win regardless, I'm pretty sure. Alright, don't freeze me. Nice, and the snow stops, there's just no chance he lives that. All right, let's send in Twista. And that should be game. They don't really have any outs here. Close combat into, or rather a hex into a close combat will always wrap up this game. And there we go. Uh, I think that was actually a pretty decent Fezzendipity showcase. Uh, I had some matches uh, last night uh, where I just played, it, once again, the casual ladder, but uh, against some legitimate teams just like that, where I actually found myself just absolutely dominating the game because I clicked Tailwind and then I spam Icy Wind for the whole game. Fezzendipity doesn't really die to a lot of attacks, and then it just poisons like half the team. So yeah, uh, it's it's a really cool Pokemon. Uh, I highly recommend you check out Fezzendipity on your team. It's definitely not the strongest of the three. It's actually probably the weakest. Uh, but it's still like a really interesting Pokemon that has this little niche in being almost like uh, a supportive Glamora rather than an offensive Glamora. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the uh, actual Pheasantipity like showcase video. Uh, not this one, but like the one where we battle with it. And yeah, uh, make sure you subscribe. I have tons of competitive Pokemon content. Playlist is going to be up on screen. You can check out um, just you know discussion videos. But we'll be we'll be doing the. Uh, <laughs> we'll be doing the moveset guides for uh, this week and the next couple of weeks, along with still doing the discussion videos. But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice one. Goodbye. Yeah.